everyone, I'm Sarah, Sarah West. I'm the great-granddaughter of Sandy West. Most of you may not know who she is, but she was an inspirational woman whom without her help, these tapes will not be able to be released. If you have any questions, watch the video. I doubt I'll be able to answer since the media will try to shut down every possible way of the video getting out. And I, well, I'll probably be in jail. So please, do your best. Screenshot, record, post, share, share on social media. This tape, I'm Sarah West, and this is, and it is April 2nd, 2002. Hi, my name is Sandy West, and I'm interviewing Martin Luther King Jr., the civil rights activist. So how are you today, Martin Luther King? I'm doing fine, ma'am. What can you tell me about yourself? Well, what would you like to know, ma'am? What about your early years? I want to teach them about all you really were. Well, I was born in Atlanta, Georgia, on the day of January 15th, 1929. Atlanta? So, just for my notes, um, were your mom and dad born there also? Yes, ma'am. What were their names? Uh, Alberta William King and Michael King. About your ministry, so what would you like to expand on that? Uh, yes. I'm a pastor at Dexter Avenue Baptist Church. Nice. At first, I didn't want anything to do with the faith. It was only until the death of my grandmother that made me change my views. I attended the Liberal Crozer Theological Seminary in Pennsylvania. Wow. Before you met Coretta? Yes. I met her at, Boston, at the Boston University I was attending. She was a great singer and a great musician. Nice. What can you tell me about the boycott? Well, yes. It started with a brave 15-year-old, Claudette Colvin, who refused to give up her seed to a white man. Then, the same incident occurred again with Rosa Parks, who also refused to give up her seat for a white man. They protested in the form of civil disobedience, and they were arrested and put in jail for it. On December 1st, 1955, the NAACP decided to put me in charge of the boycott. Though I was fairly new to the community, I was very unsure of what I was getting into, but I knew there was only one way to go with this protest. Ah, uh, yes. 382 days of walking and no riding the bus. That was very sacrificing of you. Can you explain what the Southern Christian Leadership Conference is? Yes, I can. After the Brown versus Education case, the African American community felt like it needed a way to organize their efforts, so a lot of us came together and founded the group. We started this to give a platform for the African American community and to gain respect for the leadership of predominantly African-American churches. Hi, my name is Sandy West, and I'm here with Lily Kristen, the sister of Martin Luther King Jr. So can you tell me a brief summary about your life with Martin Luther King Jr.? I know it must be hard since he died and everything. That's fine. Martin might be a good minister today, but as a child, he struggled with faith. It wasn't until our grandmother died that he showed true signs of faith. Did you know he tried to commit suicide once? What? Yeah. During his time at Brooker T. Washington, he seemed fine. He was popular with the, his schoolmates, especially the females. He only had one mentor that I knew of, and that was Benjamin. I think that's all I have to say. But no, I have a bus to catch. Thank you, ma'am. Please share this while it's still out. I'm Sarah West. I thank Martin Luther King for all he's done.